concrete kennels here. This is Honker, and we're going to do a few lining drills today. Uh, we're in Mingus, Texas, or near Mingus, Texas. It's about 50 degrees today. Um, we've been doing a little bit of water work. As you can see, it's still wet here. A good way to do some water work on a uh, day like this is to do some land work and then some water work. If he's, you know, if he gets to the point where you might not think he'll go in, do some more land work and try to catch him before that point. You know, give him one in the land, maybe three, or uh, one in the water, maybe three on land, something like that. That ratio. Yep. Honker's a little excited here. Give him a hand with the ceiling. Um, this is a ladder drill. Just I just threw two bumpers down there. They're straight in a line. Uh, nice easy path. It's just built to keep him on a straight line and start sending him up multiple times. Okay. He went by that first bumper. He's headed for that second bumper. That's okay. Um, if he'd have stopped and shopped, I would have probably uh, shopping. If he'd have started grabbing different bumpers, I would have probably given him a, you know, something to redirect his focus and have him bring the one he's got in his mouth. Good oh boy. Good oh boy. So that one we threw in there, you can be creative in your training sessions, they don't all have to be specific drills, try to keep it fun. Um, he was coming back in with that one, and uh, he threw another one, so that'll help you on a lot of your hunts, upland or waterfall, that he'll bring that bird all the way in, and help to bring the bird all the way in, and uh, have another bird shot, be able to turn and send him. Honk. quite a straight line there. I'm going to move over a little bit to my right so I can get a straight line when he comes out of there. He's a young dog. I don't want to challenge him to go through that stick there. Here. What he's been doing is shaking on the bench a little bit, or on the, on the bank a little bit. Excuse me. Honker. Is the number one there when he started shaking. Oh, oh. This is a DT 1850, uh, more of an upland model. We use it a lot of times. There are versatile dogs here as well. And um, we've got uh, 16 levels of stimulation. And there I just used the number one as soon as he started shaking. I hit the number one, had him come in, and then I took it, and then I let him shake. I probably should have paid a little more attention to when he shook there. Yep. Basically, we don't want him to, to stop halfway back and shake and lose the bird. It gets back in the water and off it goes. So we'd like him to come all the way in before he shakes. And that really doesn't get everything all wet either. I'll do another kind of repeat there. I'm going to throw something a little more interesting in there. Yep. A trailing memory here. Here's the cover. Back out and pick this bird. Yep. And you can create anything you want here. You another another batch of ducks could come in. Shoot a duck on the water. The duck's dead. We don't want to forget about this one. Honk it here. Yep. Honk. Back. So 
little pop there when Honker stopped and looked at me. Just gave him a quick back to keep him moving. Um, if he does that, we don't want to stop. He has a habit of this. He drinks water on his retrieves, so he needs the bathroom a lot of times on his way in. Here. I'm going to find a nice path here. If camera lady Tracy can come over here. You can see this angle right down between the stick. Give him a nice path that he can take that easy without having to go through too many obstacles when he's young. And we can challenge him. We can, you know, throw that stick in the way when he's a little older and has ran that a few times. Honker here, here. That's probably not from the water temperature right now. That's probably just from him questioning everything there. Um, this one, is, as soon as he turns around, I'm going to fire one down the path here. Here, here, here. So I'm going to pull him over to the left a little bit here. Boy, honker. Boy. Ah, 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 ah. Here. Good, here. Good. Help lead him through the maze. Here. Good boy. We had a little hesitation there, so I'm going to fire one right back in, um, get him kind of excited here. Um, actually, better than that, I'll dry him off on one. Yep. Good boy, good boy. Nice little search there. That insert came up here. Yep. Try to chase the dog. If he comes out and he keeps leading you, walk away. Move your body a little bit, help him find the position where he needs to be in. Slow it down a little bit, pad him. Develop that relationship between yourself and your dog. Be a team out there. Oh. You know, when he punched off there, good. So now we kind of work back into where he hesitated on that water. So I'm going to line up, I'm going to get everything ready. And uh, he's warmed up a little bit now. Okay. Here. Here. They love to go right when you uh, right when it hits the water. As soon as it hits the water and the dog makes the mark, pull the trigger. Off he goes. Awesome. Good boy, honker. The slow water entries aren't always that much fun. If you want to develop a little bit quicker water entry, throw one of those in here and there. I'll repeat.